Hey beauties, good uh, afternoon to you, good afternoon. I was, I literally, because I wasn't feeling well for the last week, you know, um, that's why I really have not been vlogging, you know, as often. Um, but I got bits and pieces of Julian Robinson's speech and I saw something, was it last evening or the evening before, when he said he was speaking with a, a civil servant who said, let me tell you, I'm worse. The fellow said that he's worse off. Because when they roll in, like the traveling and everything in, in, in the salary and then they're taxed, you know, uh, whether the income tax, NHT and whatnot, whether they want to pull it as one. Right. So, you know, whether they pull all the those regular, you know, taxes in one or split them, um, it the reality is that he has lost more. He has not gained more. And that is a cry of many of us. Or many 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 civil servants they have since they've rolled the traveling and everything traveling into the salaries you know more is taxed and we end up losing more so we don't benefit we have not benefited any further you know it just seems like all gimmicks all games you know you know we're just being played with we are like puppets and a puppeteer pulling his or her strings and we just follow the motion based on where they the puppeteer has the string going and so on and that is what has been happening you know to civil servants to public sector workers they have not benefited anymore we're taxed squeezed crushed you know squeezed crushed again squeezed crushed and crushed and more crushing and crushing has go gone on you know i did a video stating that yes it is imperative especially as it relates to local government that roads are fixed, lights are on, you know, you know, that in the little communities, people are sent, to, especially the, the, you know, people are sent to school for those who cannot afford, um, you know, those little, the, those things on a smaller circuit than the national circuit, you know, that are dealt with. However, one of the things that people will always remember, it's all, they will always remember how much money is left in their pockets. They will remember that when, when they go to the supermarket, that they never had to put back half of the things that they take up. And half of the things are already tin things. The cheap brands, you know, the cheap, cheaper supermarkets or wholesale or wherever it is that they go to. They will remember when they had money. That is one thing govern, um, governments will, I don't know if they fail to understand that or it's not somehow taking root in the brain. People remember if they had more money under the your governance or the lack thereof they will remember that so you could have fixed road till thy kingdom come the people can't eat the road yes it matters to them do not get me wrong but something takes more precedence and will have more effect on their heart realm on their soul realm than other things and i can tell you having more monies in their pockets for the last few years they have been extremely difficult years the hard to get money it's hard to get money it is, I mean, I, I wonder, it's almost like money hit us here in Jamaica. It's hard, and I'm talking about for people who work, and it has nothing to do with working hard. It seems as if the people who don't work hard, the scammers, the choppers, the thieves, or whatnot, seem to get it quick and easier. And the ones who work hard, it come, it, it's almost like somebody asking us to run back way in high heels, you know, with bad knees up a hill in the broad 12 noon sun on a hot summer day the hottest day of the year blindfolded fast too you must understand what i'm talking about it is so difficult the people are not doing well they are not doing well by and large yes those in management and so on possibly depending on where they are um allocated or located but people are not doing well politicians are not I don't know what um, ghost has tricked you or fooled you or duped you. They're not doing well. Look at what the um, president of the Jamaica Civil Service um, Association has said. She has been trying to get word in, so to speak, with the Ministry of Finance to no avail. I don't know if they have had it thus far. You know, some money should have been, I remember, last it should have been paid out. And we are now in 2024 and nothing you've heard, not even gunfire on it. When I was listening to the debate, we thought that something like that would have been mentioned. It was a very broad debate done by the Minister of Finance. Broad. Very broad. Very broad. It was so broad. It was wide. 
and at the end of it we have moved from 1.5 to 1.7 in terms of the threshold a box on the two cheeks of the uh, especially for the public sector workers two box stinginess as it, at, at its best stinginess at its highest not even said to put it to two million so the people will, you wouldn't even say all right whatever two million let them not be taxed one point save you two hundred thousand dollars extra stinginess put on a preaching like paul only thing it's it's just a form of godliness but denying the power thereof very very broad 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 wide the reality is people are not doing well they're frustrated and they're fed up public sectors public sector workers private sector it doesn't matter where they're 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 fallen they're not doing well they're unhappy most people are in jamaica they're afraid to say it but i will say it just like a few of us they're not doing well and they're not happy people are struggling they can't eat the roads they can't just drink the water source of water constantly out of the pipes like that you know they'd rather the darkness at some time for a time than to not have money in their pockets they want to have money in their pockets they want to be able to charter their own course you know they wanted the opportunity to do things that they never got an opportunity when they were younger or their parents didn't get the opportunity to do Money answers all things. And a lot of people don't understand that's a very wide meaning. It is imperative that the people do well. One of the, I cannot understand how Fitch and all of these different um, groupings abroad saying that we're doing well financially. We're like a mini America and so on and so on. And yet most people are suffering financially most people are not doing well financially and we're not talking about because they they are not good stewards of their own monies maybe that's a part of it but that's not the general practice people are not doing well because they're paid stingy minuscule minuscule years ago uh, 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 um, an mp stated on, under this present government said that those who earning um, basically, when you work it out, $500,000 per month, they're scraping. They're scraping. This is not something that I guess, this is, not, this is something I heard myself, my former colleague heard, colleagues. We couldn't believe it. And there are people, to, and that was years ago, long before we even dreamt of, dreamt of COVID and so on. And there are people still not even earning half the amount. So they, if, if they're barely scraping, those who are earning 500,000, those who are earning under that, they're dead, decomposed, can't be resurrected. People are not doing well at all. They're not. The Jamaican people are not doing well. The public sector workers are not doing well. Yes, they want the roads to be fixed. Yes, they want light in their communities. They wouldn't mind, you know, you send their child or grandchild or aunt, um, niece and nephew to school. Yes, but the reality is that they want to know that money is in their pockets. Because they realize that money really answers all things as, as the word of God says. And I'm using it specifically in terms of things that you need money to do. The man says he's worse off and I've heard that. So when Julian said that, that is just one example of the many, of the many, of the many. You pay a 20% increase and it's, it was split up in so-called three. Yet the 100%, 200%, 300% was in one sweep. And I think it was a said month that the, 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 the um, information was given. If not the said one, it would be the following month. People are not doing well. I don't think you're understanding that. You're not understanding and feeling the cries of the people. But they can only take it so much and no more. So much and no more. They're tired. Guys, follow me on TikTok. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message. Thank you.